So let's move to the session two. Begin the final exam. The first group of question will be conceptual question, such as you know, explain the term or provide an explanation of a certain concept. So, for example, what are type one and type two superconductor? What is a phono? What are the formals of phono in a diamond? What is Dulong partake law? So this is pretty straightforward. You know or you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is effective mass in a conduction? Okay? Give, give an equation would be much helpful. Okay? You don't need to write two or three sentences to explain effective mass. Just give an equation, then mention it. You will get full mark in the problem. And the second group of question will be explanation question. Answer the question like why, and uh, explain how the question. So, like, what percentage of the exam will be each section? Uh, so, like, the first section. section. Uh, would it be thirty percent? We will be conceptual questions. Okay. Thirty to forty percent majority will be conceptual, but you have another calculation. Also. So explanation question like, uh, for example, explain the difference uh, between intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors. Okay. The different explain the difference between indirect and direct band gap semiconductors. Also pretty, pretty straightforward. Give possible mechanism cause the breakdown of the dielectric materials. So, so you're much more. Uh, concerned about us understanding the concepts as opposed right. to answering and like figuring out the math or like equations. Right, or right. Thing. But you have to understand the physics. You cannot map the equation in the formula sheet to the question. That won't work. You have to understand the physics. Okay. Calculation is not a problem because everybody has calculator. <laughs> it's just the physics underlying is more important because for most of you. This is maybe the only electro, electric, electrical material cause in your life. So I want to guarantee everybody has learned something after this course. Uh, when would you post the formula uh, sheet for us? Right, before exam, I will post the formula <laughs> <laughs> So they, I will also post this on, online uh, at the end of the day. So, so explain the magnetic or soft and hard material. Okay. So these are also simple and straightforward. You know the, the concept, you understand. You use your own words or even equations, figures to explain. That's it. Okay, same question for that one. Yeah, yeah similar to the concept. Of so that would be 30%, maybe total 6%. 60%? Right. So, the third group of question, like a uh, calculation question, you probably will face a lot of figures and pictures, because I like figures and pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so like this, okay, you have the heat capacitor as a function of temperature, but you need to understand a lot of content, I mean, physical meaning of this picture, right? So the question will be, find out from this diagram, the specific heat capacitor of alumina at 500K, if the, the, bad, the bad temperature is given. So, first you need to understand, okay, what is the heat capacitor? What is the temperature dependence? What is the bad temperature? And from there, you can find out what is uh, C, which is the uh, heat capacitor, okay, first question. And the second one, what is the maximum frequency of the lattice vibration mode? of the aluminum. In order to calculate the maximum frequency, you need to know the, the bad temperature. So the bad temperature is given. Then from there, you should be able to calculate based on this equation. Here, the maximum frequency of the mode 
is the game about the bad temperature. Okay. And physically, it is the maximum, the high temperature, this is the lowest temperature to excite all the, the phenomena. Yes. So the third C, question C, the thermal conductivity of aluminum demon calculated the heat flow. Again, you know the heat flow equation and then you know the geometry and you know the temperature difference then do a calculation like that. I just give you the example, those questions will answer the question. Final example question, just, uh, just uh, give you an example that uh, will not be difficult in exams, but if you attend the class regularly, you, you read the textbook, you truly understand the material, you will be fine. Okay. Those are the typical questions. Are we going to be asked to draw the diagram? Not all diagram. You will, you will, you will have the diagram, right? But you will have a bunch of questions. But some questions are related to diagram. Some questions you have to fit more. Okay. So uh, I cannot uh, post this uh, on your. Uh, the, the class website. Uh, are you sending you or uh, I can send, send, send me yes. yes. right. 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 I will send you the file so that you can post.